Let's talk about Graham's number. So Graham's number is incredibly large, but what is it? This is the formula for it. This is pretty confusing. Let's talk about what these up arrows mean. Three up arrow three is just three to the power of three. And then three double up arrow three means three arrow three arrow three, which is the same thing as three to the three to the three. So it's about 7.6 trillion. And just to clarify, so this four right here is counting how many threes that we have. That's what that means. And then three, three up arrows three is equal to three, two up arrows, three, two up arrows, three. Once again, this three tells us there's three of those and solve for that. It means the same thing as three double arrow, 7.6 trillion. So it's going to be a three with 7.6 trillion threes going up in a tower it is a huge number. So now we're on to what we have up here in the formula. That means three, three up arrow, three, three up arrow, three. So we would end up taking whatever our calculation was here and perform that with the three up arrows. So there's a shorthand notation for this. Since this has four arrows, you can write that with an up arrow with the four right there. And this four signifies how many arrows there are. So now going back up here to Graham's number, G where N equals one, we know is this top one. Now what G2 is, so whatever number G1 is, which is just massive, we're gonna have that many arrows. And then G3 means whatever this ended up giving us, we're gonna have that many arrows for this one. And that is gonna keep continuing 64 times. This number is humongous. So if we're just trying to get a big number, why don't we do something like G1000? What is so special about G64? So there's a field called Ramsey theory, looking at the figures of different dimensions, like a square for 2D, and then connecting all the vertices with a combination of blue and red. Notice here that every plane in our figure has a mixture of red and blue lines. And similarly, we can look at 3D figures mark all those vertices combination of blue and red. Here we have a lot more than one plane and we want all of those different planes that contain four of our vertices to contain at least one red line and one blue line. And that's possible for 3D. We knew it was possible to connect all the vertices of a six dimensional hypercube and have each plane containing four points have at least one red and one blue line. We didn't know if there even was a dimension where it wasn't possible, but Graham found out that if we had G64 dimensions and it'd be impossible to color the vertices of that hypercube in a way such that every plane contained both colors. So it might be a humongous number, but what he really did was prove that there was some dimension that would solve it. And we're really interested in what the lowest dimension is, but we haven't found that out yet. And then later on, they discovered a number smaller than Graham's number that still satisfied it. They're moving closer and closer to the first value of n. Then some discovered that all the way up to 11 is okay. And a couple years later, they found out that up to 13 dimensions is okay. They have found smaller and smaller numbers for the max. And I don't know about n or n double prime, but n prime is this here. And that is way smaller than G64. So we've definitely shrunk down into our range of possibilities.